boy. Now, as good old Jim Ross would say, business is about to pick up. <laughs> I was anticipating this, yo, so let's go ahead and get right into this thing thing right after the intro. I, uh... What's good, Creek Squad fam? It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another reaction video. And yes, yes, y'all. Y'all know. Y'all know I had to hit this one up, man. So apparently Church uh, is responding back to HDC. Uh, yeah, I was checking on a premiere video that someone had left a comment on and said, yeah, Church finally responded to old boy. So here we are. Let's go ahead and get right into this thing thing by liking it. Hey, hey. Yo up, church. What are you doing, bro? Same shit, different day. I'm sitting over here watching this cowboy dude walk through the woods with a fucking piece of paper that says REGC on it, looking at the camera all weird, wearing shell necklaces with Laotian tribal tattoos. What the hell was he doing that for? I don't know. Looks like he's breaking up with me or some shit. <laughs> bruh. That's pretty much what this is, man. I mean, bruh. Hold on a second. I want to make sure I'm prepared for this one, man. Let me get the soundboard ready. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> it's like a Taylor Swift music video. Fucking Christ. Dude, if I'm telling the teacher was a face, holy fuck. This is the face you make when you run off on the plug in the backwoods like where the Amish live. You don't like run off with the bag. You like more so like nab a bundle of radishes or something. This dude <laughs> nabbed a bundle of radishes, dog. So Ryan Upchurch, I called him out on not keeping his word. Sorry, I was waiting for the tumbleweed to roll across the background. A little bit of that like Western whistling, you know? can't whistle right now, have a dip in. Somebody else do it for me. You know. Hey, bro, I, I got you covered, man. <laughs> Fuck. Well, I tried. Ryan, I would have called you and done this over the phone with you. But I blocked your number. <laughs> and then you block my numbers. Dude, there was this song back in the day. <laughs> So, where else can I give you the apology other than here? Yeah, right. Where, where else can I talk like American Dad and bitch about stuff so everyone can see it? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't give a fuck what you do, to be real. I don't watch your stuff, fucking. I am so sorry for not calling you out for being a little poser. Fuck, man. What are we going to do if we don't have guys like this during the end of the world, right? I mean... Bruh, for real. For real. Let's go. Fuck, dude. Who's gonna tell all these people who try to attack us, like, hey, you're a poser? Because that'll fucking end everything, you know what I mean? Yeah. We all know what old boy, like I said, what old boy is trying to do. He's trying to... Expose him! Expose him! <laughs> Saying, bruh. They'll be like, oh, fuck, he called me a poser. I gotta fucking... I gotta just... Pack up all my artillery and leave. You really think that you're gonna scam me out of thousands of dollars? Oh fuck, that must have slipped my mind. I, I forgot when I needed to steal $4,000 from you. So this $4,000 you gave me, was it in a check form, PayPal? And I'm just gonna stay silent? Yeah, I'm, I'm curious about this. Um, how did you spend that 4K? Did you, was it, was it cold hard cash? Was it check? You know what I'm saying? Was it through, um, you know, di digital app services. Bruh. Th th what I'm trying to tell you is I don't care whether you do or not. You know, I haven't talked to you in like over a year. Just because I don't want to, you know. <laughs> Just going to totally ignore the situation like it never happened. Sweep me under the rug. 
You think really highly of yourself, don't you? No offense, but you're not high on the list of important people in my life. You've never been up against someone like me before. What, a guy who has a YouTube channel that talks about the news that everyone else talks about that everyone's sick of hearing? Bruh, I mean, pretty much. Like I said, I was watching him for a little while, and then I stopped. Why? Because, man, I was just, just tired of hearing the same old things over and over and over and over. Oh, sorry. And over again. Anyway. Darn. You got something to say? You're really upset that I called you out about something? Ain't this the guy that bitches about gaslighting? Mm-hmm. I got what you're doing right now. I'm just saying. By the way. Oh, you know, you know what um what I should have played when old boy was talking was crying over his money? You know who he he, he reminds me of? Catch me outside, how about that? <laughs> I'm just saying. Wait, I found out about your video like hella late. Somebody asked me the other day, they were like, hey, did you see HDC's video? I thought they were talking like a video game or something. Find a gym <laughs> that has an octagon. We'll both sign waiver. Oh, yeah, right. You, you want a box? Well, welcome to fucking Walt Disney World. Pretty much. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Mm-hmm. Go get in line, motherfucker. With everybody else. Hell, I wouldn't have even made you wear gloves. I'll wear them. That way I don't mess up your face too much. Good one. You see, I have to go back and forth with these people on the left because none of them would ever offer me to do what I just did to you. Meaning he has to go against his own people, being that, again, he does the same exact thing that they do. I'm just saying. Yeah, like, what will I ever do if I don't take the opportunity from the fucking dude on YouTube who sits in the fucking bushes and dresses up like a kangaroo trapper? But hey, the offer is still open. If you do still have some country boy in that Black Lives Matter loving ass. <laughs> he wants to know if there's something in my ass, That's man. Right weird. Oh, yeah. If you do still have some country boy in that Black Lives Matter loving ass. <laughs> Dude, there's a guy named Heavy Duty that wants to know if there's a country boy in my ass. What the? F that's some that's some weird shit. I bet you we all know what what's his favorite movie. Pretty sure it's the one with Heath Ledger in it. I'm just saying. Fuck. Yeah, they're not gonna let you live that one down. <laughs> Badass country boy who spends 200 grand plus a year on security. That's about as country as Paris Hilton blowing Sleepy Joe. Yeah, damn man, what a wonderful joke. All right, anyway, come here, look. <laughs> just, just, just come here, man. Yeah, I do spend two hundred thousand dollars a year on security. Sure do. For Again, it's called uh, giving people employment. You know what I mean? Creating jobs, job opportunities. Bruh, if I had the opportunity to be part of church's security, I'd take it. Bruh. For my mom and my brothers. But for myself, no. Hell, I'm walking out to the street right now. You see any security guards anywhere? Huh? Oh, wait, where are you at, church? In the middle of the fucking street. Because clearly Ryan is letting Sleepy Joe bend him over now. You really got a thing with guys bending over other guys, don't you? Cowboy. Look at this next clip. He took so serious, bro. It's funny. Stop telling me to say, let's go, Brandon. I just feel like it's kind of, you know, making me dumber. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> Congratulations. You know how to play repeat after me. <laughs> You're doing great. You're doing great. Now you tell me how dumb that makes someone saying that after I'm done with this entire video. Yeah, everyone's really excited to watch you sit in the field. It's fucking exhilarating. Like, damn near put my ass to sleep. I'll tell you that much. What is he gonna do next? Surely he's not gonna sit in a field again. All right, so for those of you who don't know, <laughs> which is gonna be a lot of people like 
2.3 million people to be exact. Ooh, Honey Nut Cheerios. He invites me out to Tennessee to hang out and to do whatever. I ended up going with the only intention of hanging out maybe doing a few videos together just having some fun and when i'm there we talk about this old song that i did <laughs> do you fucking hear yourself you big dumb fuck i came there with the only intention of hanging out oh, but i mean we could make some videos and then and then i did tell them about my music you know but you know my only intention was to hang out not to not to use him for every goddamn thing he's able to do that i didn't spend like I said, you know, there had been some ulterior motive, you know what I mean, in meeting up with church. Spend that much time on, didn't really put a whole bunch of effort into it, and I thought it was terrible. Who the fuck walks up to somebody like, hey man, I have this song that I made, it's fucking horrible, wanna listen to it? And he's like, no man, you just need the right guidance. Let me introduce you to my producer. Uh, yeah, dipshit, that's called a favor. I listened to your track, I didn't wanna discourage you, so I pointed you in a direction to someone who could possibly help you because your song sounded like shit. He wanted me to meet up. No good deed goes unpunished, I guess. Bro, this dude's attitude is like fucked up, huh? For real. I'm telling you, this guy is a complete hypocrite, bruh. You hear how he just said that? He wanted me to meet up. He wanted me to meet up. No, dude, you needed help with music stuff because you don't know shit about it. Mm -hmm. I was trying to give you the guidance from someone who knows every fucking thing. Any Meaning, he was trying to point you in the right direction so you can have a solid start if you're truly committed to your music. Which, obviously, it turns out you weren't, and therefore, you pissed away 4K. Bruh. Man, that don't sound like, like, like a song right there. Pissed away 4K. You pissed away 4K. I'm just saying. Anyways, months go by and it's time for me to go to Tennessee to record. And all of a sudden, Ryan Upchurch's word becomes a big pile of cow shit. If I'm helping you and you ain't got no skin in the game, you're on my time, buddy. I'm yep, exactly. Exactly. On his time. Not your time. His time. Not on your time. Look at everything I've done. You're on my time. Mm -hmm. Hey man, it's time to record. Do those dates work for you? November 10th, 11th, and 12th. Let me know if those dates work for you, man, and I'll book a flight. I get a response back. Who is this? Look, I get mistakes happen. People flop on their word all the time. But it's not about the mistakes you make in life. It's how you own them. Since when do cowboys get mad that other men don't have their numbers saved in their phone? When I called Ryan out for being... Um... When they're not really a man? I mean, talk about a... An epic fail. Nowhere to be found and me being fed up with it. Look, dude, I'm already taken fucking, but you need to go find a boyfriend because that's what you're explaining that you need. Like, dude, listen to him. When I, I called him out, because when I called for him, he wasn't anywhere to be found. Ah, oh, bruh, like I said, like I said, when old boy be on the phone. Hey, sorry, Mr. Call. Um, I was just calling you back to uh, let you know that I, I love you and I miss you. Oh, I really, I really want you to call me back. Oh, And I'm sorry I missed your phone call and that I I I know you're done. So so when you get this can you call me back? I love you and I miss you. HTC, if you're watching this, that was you. That's you. I'm just saying. Cowboy are you for like what state? You think you're so holy that you think I'm gonna let you gaslight me and just bow down to you? Look at my face. Tell me if I'm lying. I forgot you existed, dude. Yeah. 
I don't watch your stuff. Clearly you underestimated the shit out of me. <laughs> he thinks I have the time to estimate or underestimate him. Damn, that's cute. Because I don't care who you are, Pussy. I don't care what you do. I as long as you love me. If you give me your word <laughs> on something, it Bust out the Backstreet Boys reference. <laughs> oh shit. Church man, if you're watching this, I'm telling you, bro, if you did the Mariah Carey remix, you know, the talking about why are you so obsessed with me? I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. It doesn't mean shit. I'm gonna call you out. Here's the thing, dumbass. People in the real world don't fucking care. We don't fucking care out here. Exactly. Look at my YouTube. I'm with my friends doing fun shit. You sit in a fucking field and bitch about the same shit every day of your fucking life. Your life. For real, man. It got to a point when, where, every time I hear that that dude talk, talking about chorus, you know, H D C, you know, um, the freaking what is it, the limp duty country? You know what I think sometimes whenever I hear that dude. And by the way, and by the way, that was not me who recorded that. You know what I'm saying? I know it sounds like me, but I'm telling you, it's, it's not. I think I have a twin out there somewhere. Might have a long lost brother out there somewhere. But anyway. Life is fucking boring. Oh my God. So I'm going to rent out a go-kart arena for us. I don't know how much it is, but it, it's going to be a lot. It was only a thousand dollars. I'm going to pick her up in my Lambo. So, like, you're mad about me picking up girls in badass cars? Mm -hmm. Do you want to ride in their seat? What's the deal? Do you think someone like me is impressed by fucking Lambos? In your head, do you want me to impress you? What the fuck are you saying, dude? Soon you picked <laughs> that girl up in that car. You think I'm impressed? Well, I'd rather you not fight with a female for my front seat of my car. In the... Exactly, because what kind of man would you be if you fought a female for her seat? Odds are, my guy, you would probably be a pussy. Just saying. The fact that you can rent out a go-kart arena? I kick shit around all day. Yeah, because kicking shit around all day sounds way more fun than go-karts with your friends. This is the mm -hmm. first country dude who's like, man, it must be impossible to rent a, a go-kart track. Hello, have you never been to like, you know, anywhere? You get five buddies to race with because you need people to race with. If it's a thousand dollars and you have five friends, you all pay 200 bucks. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You get to race. You see my hat? It's got more dirt on it than your boots have had in the past two years. And him making that video, right? Okay, so you see his hat, how it's all full of dirt, and it's got some cobwebs on it and everything. That should give you a clear indication as to what the inside of his head looks like. I mean, him making that video should also be another day giveaway. I'm just saying. Fuck yeah. I'm 30. I don't reply well to shit like that anymore. And then everyone blocks me. Gee, I wonder why. It's mm -hmm. okay. Everyone straight up said, Bye, Felicia. Yep. Keep my four grand. We'll call it charity. Well, I'm just going to call it what it is. Invisible, because you never gave me $4,000. And you were probably upset. Ooh, see, there we go. And who am I going to tend to believe more? Hmm. Hmm. Odds are probably the church man. Why? Because this dumbass... Well, this claim that he makes has shown zero receipts. No receipts. So, yeah. Again, talk about an epic fail. That, that my views on America don't change like the wind. I don't know your views, man, so I wouldn't know if they changed or not. <laughs> With the wind. Ryan is smooching Black Lives Matter's ass. Look who's on his new album. Boozy Badass. Damn, son. You really ain't got nothing to talk about, do you? Imagine the television brainwashing you so fucking much 
You think that because someone does a song with a black artist, they automatically are kissing the ass of some fucking huge organization. Did it ever occur to you that maybe some people don't waste their entire day with their face in their phone watching like CNN and stuff and whatever else there is? He's also known as the biggest race baiting black life. Blah, 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 clickbait, clickbait, whatever. I don't fucking give a shit. If I didn't see it with my own eyes, then I don't fucking care, dude. We're not robots, okay? Not everybody has to be like you, dude. It, we live in America. If you want to go hang out with people who think and dress and walk and do everything you do, then go do that. But I'm not that fucking person. Exactly. Exactly. See? Told you. There had to have been some conversation, some discussion where Church and Boosie, you know what I'm saying? We're totally cool. You know what I mean? Because, hey, the remix ended up happening. And magic was made. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. See? This is the same guy who told, you know, some other dumbass who had a problem with the Confederate flag. You know what I mean? Look, you're entitled to believe whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? This is America. We're all entitled to our 1A right. I don't give a fuck about politics. I don't give a fuck about what he said, she said. I don't, I just don't care. I live out here. There you go. My man done said it again. Let me, let me wind that back because I was trying to pause right after he said it and I slipped. I didn't see it with my own eyes, then I don't fucking care, dude. We're not robots, okay? Not everybody has to be like you, dude. It, we live in America. If you want to go hang out with people who think and dress and walk and do everything you do, then go do that. But I'm not that fucking person. I don't give a fuck about politics. Doesn't give a fuck about politics. Okay? Not his thing. Never was his thing. Let's go. I don't give a fuck about what he said, she said. I don't. I just don't care. I live mm -hmm. out here. In the fucking real world. I don't give a fuck what goes on in here. And we all know you had him on that. Exactly. The man has a life that exists long before social media and even during the existence of social media. He has a life of his own to live. He doesn't care. Album to reach a new crowd of people, <clears throat> a.k.a. the black population. Oh, my. So did you hear what this man just said right now? I don't give a fuck about politics. I don't give a fuck about what he said, she said. I don't, I just don't care. I live out here in the fucking real world. I don't give a fuck what goes on in here. And we all know you had him on the album to reach a new crowd of people, AKA the black population. I said, man, <clears throat> dude is showing his true colors, no pun intended. You know what I mean? Bruh, I'm just saying. Oh, my God. Now, not the <clears throat> fact that he's a fucking legendary southern rapper. Oh, my God. This dude is an imbecile. Boozy mm -hmm. badass on looting during the George Floyd protest. I'm a musician. Do I look like a fucking politician to you? Bro, I got chipped teeth. I got kitchen tattoos. I ride around till 2 o'clock in the morning in muscle cars smoking fucking weed. I'm not having brunch with Al Gore trying to figure out what the fuck I'm going to do about global warming. All these exactly. Exactly people who are listening to your album who are mainly white just know mainly white bro i may look white but i'm not white i'm hispanic you know what i'm saying and uh i'm pretty sure my man here you know what i'm saying has friends outside of the white community i'm just saying Oh, that there's a dude who was allowed to be on his album that's still deciding if your life matters. You realize that more than half of those white fans grew up bumping Boosie? Stupid. This is why you don't talk about shit you don't know about. Egg. Exactly.
Which is why I quit talking about politics, because I'm not a politician. Or what? Facts. <clears throat> what about that song, Ryan, that Boosie made called Fuck the Police? What about it? Isn't your drummer's wife a cop? Yeah, ask her what she thinks of you working with a guy. That was on my man uh, Spittle when, when he said that. Talk about shit you don't know about. Which is why I quit talking about politics, because I'm not a politician. Or what about that song, Ryan, that Boosie made called Fuck the Police? What about it? Isn't your drummer's wife a cop? Yo, say it, don't spray it, my guy. Shit, because I wanted the news, not the weather. Yeah, ask her what she thinks of you working with a guy who wrote a song that said fuck the police. I can guarantee you she probably does not give a single shit. Is, is this how your fucking mm -hmm. brain works? You think just because she's a cop, she's gonna be like, you know, I've been thinking a lot lately about my husband's friend's friend's song he wrote fucking 15 years ago. You know people do have shit to do, right? Boosie is also a dude who was named and you understand people can change over time, right? People's views can change over time as they get older. It's called maturing, which obviously you know nothing about with your fucking crocodile Dundee looking ass. In a murder for hire plot. Yeah, everyone who listens to hip hop already fucking knows this. You didn't figure out anything. There you go, Ryan. And a uh, fun fact, there's another group of artists that also made a song with the same name. Perhaps you heard of them. Three letters, N-W-A. I grew up in the hood and I, of course, I've had, I have that song in my collection. Does that mean I hate police? No. You know what I'm saying? Because I understand at the time when they wrote that song, it was a, rep it was a representation of what was going on at that time. Just like when Boosty wrote his version of the song, it was a representation. It was a representation of what was going on around that time with things that he was dealing with. Bruh. And there's your apology. Yeah, your life seems great. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, y'all. So that was my man Church with Nabin Radishes, which, aka, his response to, oh. Uh, Oh, a limp duty country. And I'm definitely going to go ahead and mash like on that. And yes, I did leave a comment on here. I will gladly read my comment. I said, love the part where dude openly admitted to the fact that he bought into his own hype to the point where he pissed away 4K. LOL. How dare you boost his confidence, bro? Why do you have to be so nice? <laughs> did I put the, the laughing teary eye emoji? <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Yo. I can't wait to see what happens next, honestly. I can't wait to see what, what other dumb shit this dude has to say. If, if he dares to upload another stupid video like the one that... The, like the one that Churchin just got done reacting to. <laughs> oh, man. I'm curious, man. Is this gonna turn into you know another series of videos, series of back and forth, like like church versus versus um old gabbly gooker or the yeah, gaggly gacker, <laughs> bruh? Well, y'all y'all know the deal, man. If anything further happens, y'all know I'm gonna stay on top of it. I'm gonna follow it. You know what I'm saying till till the uh, bitter end, and uh, yeah. But until then, y'all. So yeah, <laughs> really enjoyed this one. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, dude, H HDC, if you're watching this, bro, please just while while you're, I was gonna say while you're ahead, but I don't know. I think you're already pretty much done at this point. Just stop, dude. Just stop. All right. You, You done made a fool out of yourself, bro. Again, how are you going to live down openly admitting 
to you pissing away 4K into something you fu you couldn't fully commit yourself to. Mm. And all because you bought into your own hype. It is what it is. And then your obsessions with, with dudes, booties, man. I mean, bro. Like Church says, man. You need to go grab yourself a boyfriend. And hey, it's okay, man. We're not judging you. You know what I mean? It's 2022. Bruh. It's a different time. You know what I'm saying? You can do whatever you want, man. It's your life. Anyway. <laughs> All right, y'all. So if y'all y'all with this video like I am, well, y'all know what to do with that original video link. That'll be in the description down below. You're more than welcome to hit it up whenever you like, as many times as you like. You know what I'm saying? And, uh... Yeah, if you're with this reaction, y'all know what to do with that thumbs up down below. Y'all know what to do with that comment section down below. I look forward to checking out y'all's feedback, as I always do. And don't forget, guys, underneath the video link, we got the link for the second channel. If you're into wrestling, video games, movies, and other cool geek shit, that is the link for y'all to go click on. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah. would really appreciate if y'all can support the second channel. And, uh, yeah. Below that channel link, we have, of course, you know, reaction request instructions. You know, feel free to look that over and proceed in the way that makes you the most comfortable. Remember, free requests, just as important as donor requests. I respond to them just as quickly and just as swiftly as I possibly can. And uh, right below that, we got two store links. Of course, Spring Merch Store, Kula Hawaii CBD, both of which will have their own discount slash coupon codes to help save you on all your purchases. And uh, yeah, and of course, if you cannot support the channel financially, hey, all good, no worries, no hard feels. Trust, I understand. You are still helping out in the long run by simply making sure you are subscribed to this channel if you're feeling what I'm doing over here, of course. And of course, making sure that you got your bell notification set to all so you never miss an upload. Doesn't cost a single red cent, but still a big help nonetheless. You feel me? And of course, that goes for all the folks that rock with in the folks that rock with section. Let's show the fan bam some love too. We we'll greatly appreciate that as well. I think I nailed everything. So with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV. So y'all have a blessed one. Catch y'all in the next one. All right. Peace.